A viral video showing a high school music teacher and student beating on each other shocked millions of people. Students recorded the violent confrontation about a year and a half ago at Maywood Academy High School. And tonight, the teacher in that video is speaking out. CBS2's Tom Wade asked him why he snapped and how the situation spiraled so far out of control. It's the horrifying classroom attack video that went viral. A high school music teacher unloading punch after punch on a 14 year old student. Just seconds before, the student unleashed a racist tirade on the teacher, and the teacher snapped. That teacher is Marston Riley. That day, he was taken away in handcuffs from Maywood High School. He would never return. It was November 2018. Now, a little more than a year later, Riley is retired. The criminal case against him has been dropped, and he's speaking out. Riley says what we all saw in this recording was only part of the story. What they showed was me hitting the student. They didn't show anything before that. The confrontation began during a school uniform check. When I got to that student particularly, he didn't have his uniform when I asked him for it, and uh, he became belligerent. Riley says the student he punched first threw something at him and then baited Riley with a slew of racist slurs. He hit me with the basketball, so I decided, okay, I need to call security one more time. Once he finished talking, then I just turned and walked away and uh, call security. And again, all that happened before the camera started rolling. In other words, what everybody saw, which is the second time he came into the classroom. He got worse and worse. The less I did, the worse he got. And it finally came to the altercation. Looking back, we asked Riley if he would have done it differently. Do you think you took it too far? No, I, um, I tried to avoid it. I took what I took, and I didn't want it to go there, but it went there. If he wanted to avoid something like that, you don't leave and then come back. The 64-year-old would be facing battles now on two fronts, a criminal case and the prospect of losing his job. Riley says he retired before the district handed down a punishment, and last fall, the DA dropped the case. It was like a weight off your shoulders. Riley received significant support from his former students and parents. A GoFundMe was launched that raised almost $200,000 to help pay for his legal fees. Riley says he's speaking out now because he wants people to know what kind of abuse teachers everywhere endure. The sad part about it is it's like teachers are being treated like that every day. You know, they're being assaulted, abused, and something needs to be said about it. That was Tom Waite reporting.